This is my favorite jacket. It has the perfect fit, the color stands out, and it's perfectly on trend. Now, a jacket is very essential for any guy's wardrobe, but if you get the wrong jacket, you are not going to be standing out. So not only is it important to have the right essentials, but it's also just as important to have the right pieces. So here are all the clothing essentials you need to make sure you are standing out. So the first one we got to talk about is a good jacket. So I really base this one on the weather. If it's really cold, I'd grab a puffer jacket. I actually recently grabbed one from Hollister. It's in the color brown, and I love this one. But where I'm at right now, it doesn't really get too cold. So my favorite one is the one that I was talking about earlier, a workwear jacket. Now I love the cream color on this one. It always gets me compliments. I love the corduroy lining, but if we want the most versatile one, the Dickies workwear jacket has to be the one. So for this one, you really have to choose your preference. Do you like something that's easy to style? Or do you want something that's going to stand out more? Or if you're indecisive, you can do what I did and get both. Now let's look at quarter zips. This is my bread and butter for the cold. It looks great with anything and any kind. A casual one, dressy one, oversized. I really can't get enough of quarter zips. In fact, this is probably the piece that I started wearing more of when I first started getting into men's fashion. It's always going to look good for a casual laid back one. I grabbed this one from Nike, been one of my more recent pickups. I think this one is perfect. It's oversized, drop shoulder, insanely comfortable. So this one I'm going to be wearing a lot of. However, if you like dress ones, and I really do recommend these, these aren't oversized, so you could wear this underneath the jacket if you wanted to. This one from Roan is perfect. It's soft. Like I said, fits perfectly underneath a jacket. It really gives you more of a sophisticated look. But I really got to stress the fact that I love quarter zips. And so I have multiple of these. Again, some casual and some dress ones. And since it's one of my more complimented pieces, I definitely recommend getting a few of these. And I'm going to have quite a few of them linked in the description along with everything else. Now, as far as recent pickups go, there's really two I want to talk about. This one from Hollister and this one from American Eagle. Now, I've already talked about the Hollister one, so let's talk about this one from American Eagle. I love the texture on it. It's a rib design. Color on it's great. And American Eagle is just one of those brands that not enough people talk about. So it's definitely worth taking a look at. A while ago, I said that I was going to get into sweaters, more knitted, more classy ones instead of sweatshirts. And I was not playing around. I have so many on my wish list, but Let's talk about something that I picked up recently. Now, I'm actually very excited to talk about this because this is part of my recent pickups. Recently, I went to Ralph Lauren and one of the pieces that I got is a sweater, but not just any kind of normal sweater. This one is in a forest green, which I'm obsessed with, but also the cable knit pattern. Not only is it perfectly on the old money trend, which is still a good aesthetic to have going into the winter, but it's one that I've been seeing a lot of recently. So I knew one of the first sweaters I had to buy was a good cable knit sweater. And the one from Ralph Lauren is great. Ralph Lauren is one of my favorite brands. So the quality is A1 as always. However, it is a little bit more pricey. Now, if you have the extra money, I definitely recommend checking Ralph Lauren. It's one of those brands that when I started shopping there, I feel like it improved my style just by switching to a new brand. But again, it is a little bit pricey, so you kind of have to space out what you get. And the next thing that I got from Ralph Lauren is actually the next piece that I'm recommending, which is a long sleeve polo. Again, something I've been talking about a ton of. I'm really into a sophisticated look, especially in the cold. I think it just looks great and something very easy to style. So long sleeve polo, Again, in the color green, it's one of my more favorite colors to be wearing. This one works perfectly, but some more affordable ones that I recommend are some from Zara, and I've seen plenty from other places like American Eagle. I just think that this is one of the pieces that you could just throw on, and it's going to make you look that much better. It's going to make you stand out more, especially if you're on the younger side. Not a lot of young guys like to wear stuff like this, but if you are one of those guys that has the confidence to try these, I promise you, you're going to love them. All right, let's move away from tops. Let's go into pants. And for the first pair of pants that I'm recommending, I really only have two words to tell you. That is corduroy pants. Look, I've been talking about these for a while now. So if you haven't tried these out, I am mandating that you at least try one pair of corduroy pants. In my opinion, jeans can get pretty boring. I'm not a fan of patterns or prints on pants. So therefore, I like to keep things simple. And realistically, the thing that you see most is black jeans. Even if you want to stick to the color black, you got to add some texture on it. The best texture is corduroy. So my favorite one is again from Ralph Lauren, but this one's just really expensive. So the other day, I went into Uniqlo just to see what they had. And again, part of my most recent pickups are these corduroy pants from Uniqlo that are such a good price. They fit perfectly. I love the color on these. Definitely going to be wearing these a lot in the fall and winter. However, if you're still stuck on jeans, then I completely understand. Stand. But I'm not gonna be talking about black jeans because again, this entire video is based on having pieces that are gonna make you stand out. You gotta get jeans in an interesting color. And my favorite color in jeans right now are these olive green pants that I got from Abercrombie. This is part of the athletic slim pants. And trust me, this line of pants from Abercrombie is easily my favorite thing to get from Abercrombie. In my opinion, it's just the perfect fit and therefore you could wear anything with them. Any type of top you want, it's gonna look good with these jeans, especially any type of shoes you want. So now 
let's talk about the shoes that you need to be wearing this fall and winter as somebody that has multiple pairs of shoes i think there's really only two that you need and so right now you got to focus on a pair of sneakers and on a pair of boots let's talk about the sneakers first so right now since it's the cold you want something a little bit more bulky and so right now i'm still in the honeymoon phase with the shoes that i recently picked up from nike and just to make things even more simple let's just talk about the air force ones because it's such a classic silhouette that's never going to go out of style but the color makes it stand out that much more i love these shoes and i'm very excited to be wearing this a ton and because it's in such a versatile color doesn't matter what color pants i wear doesn't matter if it's corduroy or the jeans that i was talking about it's always going to look good i'm really into pieces that stand out one of the pieces that stands out most is boots so my most recent pickup for boots are these thursday boots in the color canyon i'm obsessed with these I'm gonna be wearing them a ton and again it's just another piece that i'm recommending for you to, just to be able to throw on and look better than all your friends that's one thing i definitely wish i did in high school and if you want to see a video about everything i wish i did in high school then i have a video that's going to show you exactly that other than that i'll see you in the next one